Hi folks, Jason St. Pierre, Presbyterian Walker High School. The purpose of these videos is to show you some procedures and what to do on the first day of school and every day after that. We want to show you first our car rider line. So when you pull up off of Palmetto, which is to my right over here, we have the, the, the vocational building over here, and we have this drive. You can park three cars in a row. We actually you park three cars in a row when you come in in the morning, because students cannot be dropped off before 7 a.m. So we wanna make sure that you pull three cars in a row. And then once that happens, uh, we'll have a teacher, like Coach Peters, he'll come out and temperature check a student. And then once the temperature check comes in, the student will get out of the car. And then we have a place for them to go and a grab and go breakfast. So the students will get out, walk to the cafeteria, pick up a grab and go breakfast, and they could go straight to their first block class. So they're gonna do that. And uh, once you get out, the kid gets out of the car, then you can proceed out to 190 and there'll be a car, an officer there to direct you. So in the afternoon, it'll be the same thing. If you come and pick your kid up in the afternoon, we ask that you get three cars in a row and then you wait to your kid. And when they come in, they can get in and you can take off. Now you see another lane over here to my right where we have this is our bus lanes. We have some buses with uh, special needs students that have to get through. So we keep this open. So please do not park. We won't let you park through here so our buses can get through and go pick up our special needs parking. Also, we have five points of entry. So this is one of the points of entry, which is the car ride line each and every morning. This is our second point of entry, which is our bus loading area. I'm in the Burgess area parking lot where our sophomores and juniors will park. And this is our second point of entry. When students get off the bus at this point, they'll be temperature checked. And then right behind me, they'll have another mobile cafeteria grab and go area where they can go grab and go at breakfast and, and go right to their first bought class once they get off the bus. So again, right here in the front of the bus loading area is entry point number two for the bus loading area. I'm standing right now in front of our Wildcat Stadium, our main entrance. This is entry point number three for our students. So for those students who drive to school and park in our Burgess area parking lot, this will be sophomores and juniors. They can walk through this area right underneath our Walker High Stadium and they're gonna get temperature checked. They'll also go right back to the, uh, the canopy right outside the cafeteria get a grab and go breakfast. And again, they too will go straight to their first block class. So this is entry point number three. I am standing in front of our new gym, which is where our seniors will park. The seniors will park in the new gym parking lot. They'll proceed straight to our duty teacher standing right where I'm at now, get temperature checked, and then they'll go to the awning outside the cafeteria if they want a breakfast to grab and go. And then they'll go to their first block class. So seniors who park here, come straight here, get temperature checked, go get a breakfast under the awning, and head to their first block class. And now I'm standing in front of our main office, which is entry point number five. If a student has, didn't go through one of our other entry points, they have to come through the office. Once they come in the office, one of our secretaries will scan them. If they need to go get breakfast before school, they can go to the awning and grab a to-go breakfast, bring it back to their first block class. But all students will report to the office if you want to check somebody out or check somebody in, they have to come to our, Bur uh, to our Florida Boulevard office, our main office here. But this is entry point number five and our last one for our students. I want to show you a new office complex we have. It's called the Annex. So this is the old office. If you get uh, if you guys that have been here for a while, this is the old office. It's called the Annex. So we have administrators on this side of the campus to help out with uh, teacher PD and uh, with students to bring in. So nothing will be done as far as attendance and, and checking kids in and out. But I just wanted you to, to be aware of that uh, students may come here for some assistance. Uh, the athletic secretary is in here, but this is the annex, which is the old office. So we're gonna just call it the annex and students will come in here. But again, all of our official business will take care up front. We wanted you to be aware of our new annex. I hope you enjoyed the videos that we showed you about the carpool line, the five points of entry, breakfast, and what to do on the first day of school. We just want to get this information out to you and make sure that you're prepared as much as possible. And let me say this, we are excited about our students coming on our campus. I know it's not optimal. Everybody wish they came every day, all day, and we do too. 
but we have to do what we're uh, instructed to do. We're going to make the very best of that situation. And I just want to tell you, from the office staff and our teachers, we're ready for your student to come on campus and to learn this school year for the school year 2020. 2021 school year. So with that being said, as always at Walker High School, it's where opportunity today meets success tomorrow.